friends welcome to gjk master class today we will see what is polarizability and how we can see it in spherical top molecules the topic is from raman spectroscopy so first we will be seeing a question based on it define polarizability and why are spherical top molecules have polarizability surface so like this is a molecule a spherical top molecule you can say in the absence of electric field so before we go ahead we will see what is polarizability so basically when you put this molecule into the static electric field so some kind of distortion you will see in the molecule what type of distortion you can see the positively charged nuclei will attract towards a negative pole while the negative electrons will attract towards the positive pole so this will happen when you apply the field so this is the distortion before or in the absence of electric field the nucleus will look like this and after applying the electric field you can see the shape has been changed here so basically the separation of charges will causes the dipole moment to induce you can see here the dipole moment has been induced which is represented by mu i here and the molecule will set to be polarized and so we can say the formula mu i is equal to alpha e where mu i is the induced dipole moment alpha is a polarizability and e is a electric field so if you are aware of the electric field and how much amount of induced dipole moment is there you can calculate the polarizability or if you know the two polarizability and electric field you can calculate the induced dipole moment so this is the definition of polarizability now we will see on spherical top molecule some examples like you might be aware of that methane sih4 ccl4 all are spherical top molecules it has a tetrahedral geometry so basically we say that all have the spherical polarizability surface so you can see here the spherical top molecule it has like uh, we have seen three moment of inertia are present here ia ib and ic and for a spherical top molecule the relation is all three are equal you can notice here Uh, the three hydrogen uh, being in the same size and shape uh, all the three atoms falls respectively on three moment of inertia so we can say the three are having the same moment of inertia and when you apply or put it in the electric field the the electronic dispersion will takes place equally in all the direction so we can say the molecule is completely isotropic isotropic means the electronic distribution will takes place equally in all the direction and so we can say that there is no dipole moment induced or no change in the dipole moment and so the molecule is not polarized no change in the polarizability and so when you see the pure rotational spectra for the above molecules it is raman inactive because the condition for a molecule to be raman active is either there should be change in the shape size or orientation of the ellipsoid during the rotation so since it is electronic like electron distribution is equally there is no change and so it is raman inactive i hope you understood this uh, that the spherical top molecules are raman inactive and when this question comes to you the answer you have to represent in the same way All the best for your exam. See you in the next video.